let's go for a 24 hour wish maybe it's easier what do you want for for the next 24 hours something you would like to have to fulfill yourself okay I would like to um, have chosen the uh, the template for my website that I'm working. Okay. On. Okay. Is that is that challenging? It is because um, it's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> There's so many different templates available, and um, I kind of found something I like. But I, I'm just sort of lukewarm on it. I'm not 100% sure. And it's a bit overwhelming. Um, and I know I need to to choose. Otherwise, I could just be um, agonizing over this. Yeah, okay. Okay, so so I think that's a good one. All right, so... Okay. So we, we've come up with the wish for the next 24 hours. So summarize that wish the, in your mind... Or note it down on the app. Note your wish in three to six words. Okay, I'm writing this down. Um, pick out my website template um, for passion project. Okay, continue. What is the gotcha. best the best outcome? What would be the best thing? This is what it says, everybody who's who's following along. So there's a screen that says, what is the best outcome? What would be the best thing, the best outcome about fulfilling your wish? How would fulfilling your wish make you feel? So I'd say... Uh, the best outcome would be I chose something um, this evening and I was really excited about it. Um, and that's how it would make me feel. I was excited about it and, and felt felt secure that I made a good decision. Right, but you don't really know um, really what will happen there. But the idea of having made a decision, how would you feel? I think How would you feel if you made a decision tonight? I would feel like my my project has um, has progressed, and um, I would feel a sense of accomplishment. I would feel like um, like I've created something. Okay. Which is um, something I try to do every day. I try to create a, at least something. Right. So, um, is that the best feeling which would result from choosing the template? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I've moved the ball. On okay, this, on I this feel. Goal. Okay, can you imagine that? Yes. Okay. Good. So now, <laughs> write the moving the ball in the. Okay, moving the ball on creating um, my new website. All right. Okay. So now... Imagine. Take a moment to imagine the outcome Imagine things fully. That's what the next frame on the phone says. Um, okay, you can close your eyes and then I will wake you up. Right. Just imag imagine that, moving okay. the ball. Okay, I'm imagining uh, looking at the screen and going, yeah, this is awesome. Um, and I think this is going to have a lot of potential and people are going to, it's going to be have good ease of use and i'm also imagining the feeling of like settling on something stop agonizing over it great all right very good so this so is now. this is the good part i think uh 
So the next frame says, the next screen on your phone says, identify your obstacle. What is it within you that holds you back from fulfilling your wish? What stands in the way of you fulfilling your wish? What is your main inner obstacle? Yeah. What is it in you? Well, that holds you back. Um, I mean, sometimes I can be indecisive, um, but sometimes when I'm not indecisive, indecisive is when something truly speaks to me. You know, like I, I was in Italy and I bought this leather jacket, and often <laughs> I can I can spend an hour trying something on, and um, but it fit perfectly, and it looked distinctive and the price wasn't terrible and I just knew um, so but it, you know it's not always it's not always like that uh, but the obstacle is I guess I don't know one obstacle but would be that I just haven't found anything good and the other obstacle is just indecision um, and being scared to just make a decision um because i may not find that thing tonight that screams at me i'm the one uh i think that if i look at enough um and maybe ask my wife a few more times what she thinks <laughs> um that i could overcome that obstacle of indecision i i guess so the obstacle is indecision, not being able to pull the trigger. Right, but you said something before, which was more not not finding even. Some, not finding something that spoke to me. Yeah, that's true, but that's also a little bit outside. But you said you said you're scared. What yeah. are you scared of? I mean, I wanna I want this thing to be great. Um, Chris. and I don't want to like, I mean, the, the thing is you could, I could start this and I could always go back and say, no, I don't think it's that good. I, I'm going to change it. And it's probably not going to be that difficult to change it. Um, at least for a little while. So, um, you're already coming up with the solution. So what is the obstacle? You just said it. What is the obstacle? You said indecision, but what is behind the indecision? What's behind the indecision is, I guess I'm afraid to commit to something that isn't what I really am going to enjoy for long term. Okay. So you're afraid to commit. To something to that's just, that's not that, that's not the best thing I could get. Yeah, but how do you know what is the best thing you could get? So, so it's you being afraid. Afraid that I'm going to settle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Afraid it's, of it's, settling for something that uh, could be much better. Okay. Afraid of settling for something that you. That might be much better. Is it? Is that what you're saying? Well, I mean, I guess uh, success would be something that I've just felt really good about. So um, Yeah, but we're not talking about the success. We're talking about the obstacle in you that might prevent you from coming up with a template tonight and feeling accomplished. Mm -hmm. So what is it in you? You just said it. You just need to, to clearly say it once more and put it down. So indecisive isn't the right thing. The obstacle is is being uh, afraid it's not going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> afraid of not being good. Or can, not, can, not being satisfied. Or Yeah, afraid of not being satisfied, afraid of not being good. How, how, what is the real one? Uh, 
I, I mean, I'm afraid that I could do that. I could find something much better. Okay, great. So, can you put that down? Sure. Yeah, I, I think we we hit it on the head there. Great. I'm afraid that I could find something much better. All right, continue. Now the next screen is imagine. And by the way, if you push these screens too fast, it will stop <laughs> you and it will say, no, you haven't done a good job of imagining. Come back. <laughs> Spend a little longer. Um, imagine. Take a moment. Imagine your obstacle. Imagine things fully. Okay. So I'm imagining... Um, The ob okay, so the obstacle was uh, not being able to choose. Mm -mm. Let's see, I'm pushing backward. Well, the f I was afraid that um, that I could find something better, but that's that is that an obstacle? That's an obstacle. You are afraid. To find something much better. Okay. Um, Can okay. you imagine that? Yes, I'm imagining. Uh, a week do later. Do you feel this is something you really can imagine? Does this speak to your? Yeah, I'm imagining a week later, looking at it and going. Eh, this is just so so. But you want to imagine when the obstacle, this obstacle of being afraid, appears. It doesn't appear in a in a in a week when once you made the decision. It appears tonight. So you want to imagine that fear creeping in. I'm imagining not being able to go to sleep because I'm just up keeping, keep choosing, trying, looking through them. Yeah. Um, imagine the fear. Imagine being afraid. Okay. Yeah? Okay, great. Okay, then we can go on. But this being afraid, you want to imagine that. All right. Okay, and the next and then the next screen is make an if then plan. What can you do to overcome your obstacle? Name one action you can take or thought you can think to overcome your obstacle. Um Well, maybe I could uh like set a time limit for myself and um, I could just find like five different sources or three different sources of different ones I can pick through and and then after that I'll just be able to say okay I spent X amount of time on it I can feel okay that I've I've vetted it and um, found the best thing that I could for now. Okay. So you could do that. Would that be helpful? Yes. Okay. Really? <laughs> yeah, because I can't do it forever. I can't. You can just, you can just spend forever trying to pick something out and if something doesn't 100% speak to you right away um, you can just torture yourself so who knows maybe I'll choose something and once I start putting some content on it I'm going to love it so what can you do if you if you um, name this action in, in few words in three to four words what would you say um, give myself a one hour time limit and pick three sources to find something. And then? Um, and then I'll be able to choose something. Are you sure? 
what will you do? Well, I already have something in the back of my head that if if right. like, if, so, if like if if I don't find anything better, I'm just gonna go with it. Then you're gonna go with it, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, in very few words, what we, what will you do tonight when the when the afraid creeps up? What will you do? Um, give myself um, a one hour time limit. Yes, and then. And maybe look at, maybe I'll just say I'll look at, at 10 other choices. And then after that, I'll go with something. Okay, so an hour time limit and then another 10 choices or how is that? Well, 10 choices within that hour. Okay, so I give myself... An hour, and then? Give myself one hour time limit, and then have ten choices. Okay, and then? Um, I'm writing this down. Okay, give myself a one hour time limit, then have ten choices. Um... Okay, so... And then? And then? And then I'll pick something. And then I pick something. Yeah. So I skip to the next the next screen now, right? Okay. Your All if, right. If then plan. If afraid that I can find something much better, then I will give myself one hour time limit and have ten choices. Oh, you forgot the most important. Uh, okay. Give myself an hour time limit and have 10 choices. Then I will have something picked. No. <laughs> have something picked that I feel okay about. R no. Um, then you have something picked. So who is picking for you? Me. You. So say it. Then I will so pick. Give... So, then I will pick something I feel good about. Yeah. What happens if you don't have something you feel so good about? So um, give myself an hour time limit, and then. Then I'll I'll choose something. Yes, and then you choose something. Exactly. So repeat it once more. If? If I give myself a one No, the, the if is if, if the obstacle. Oh, okay. Oh, when the obstacle? What was the obstacle? When? If I'm afraid that I, that, uh, that I can find something much better. Then, then I will? I'll, then I'll give myself an hour time limit and then have, and have 10 choices. And, and then I'm going to pick something. Yes. That's what it is. Okay. Very good. Great. And then it asks you to slowly repeat it. And then, um, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see this is super specific. Yes. Every, every step, the, the wish, the outcome, the obstacle, and the plan need to be very specific. And very clear, and that's the reason why we say three to four words, put it down. And don't forget the outcome and obstacle imagery. That's really important, too. Yeah, so well, I, find, I find having the, op figuring out what the obstacle is, is the, the key, because the obstacle may not be exactly what you think it's going to be, or maybe it's not that bad. Exactly.